In this video lesson, we're going to do a quick review of our four Pro Tools editing modes, Grid, Slip, Spot, and Shuffle. Let's go ahead here and pay special attention to our instrument track because MIDI and MIDI note editing will be the focus of this course. Let's change here from Clips to Notes. And now I can edit the notes in my track and I'm going to do so with the Grabber tool. So working in Grid mode, and I have my Grid set here to an eighth note, I'm going to go ahead and move some of these notes. So let's go ahead and grab my kick drum right there and I'll move it up. And I'll move it from side to side. And you'll notice every time I move it from side to side it snaps to a new grid location. All right. If I don't want to snap it to a grid location, I'll simply go into slip mode and now I can move it backward and forward anywhere in the timeline. Okay, So slip and grid, those are pretty easy to understand. Let's get that back to grid right there. Let's take a look at this note right here and I'm going to zoom in. So command right bracket right here to this note D and that's a, that's a snare drum note. There we go. And you'll notice that the note is a little bit ahead of the grid line. And maybe I like the feel of the track, and maybe I like my snare drums a little bit earlier, whatever the case may be. And I'd like to move that note around, or maybe move it to a different sound, but I want it to stay at that position. I don't want to have it snap to a grid as I move it accidentally, or accidentally move it to a grid when I'm moving the note to a different uh, pitch. Okay, so let me undo that, Command Z. Command Z and we'll get back where we were. If I want the note to remain relative to its current or relative to what the grid is, so relative to this grid line here, when I move it, now watch what happens when I try and drag the note left and right. When I drag it to the, to the left, it goes to that next grid point relative to that grid line. If I drag it back this way, it stays relative to that grid. If I drag it back this way, it stays relative to that grid. Let me switch it over to absolute grid and now watch what happens when I move to the left. It snaps to that absolute grid line right there. All right. So relative grid and absolute grid, very, very handy. And you can do that when you're editing both MIDI and audio clips as well. But it's really great for working with MIDI notes. Let's take a look at spot mode next. And spot mode is great when you want to spot something to a specific spot in your track or in your timeline. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to intentionally delete the spot me clip right here. And first let me get out of spot mode. All right. And just so we can note here, the original location was right at the beginning of measure five. So let's go ahead and delete that. Now let's say that I ac accidentally deleted the clip and I want to get it back to its original timeline. Okay, I'm going to go here to the show hide clips track. I'm going to look for the one that's called Spot Me. I'm going to go to Spot Mode. I'm going to drag it any place in this track here. And I'm going to locate it back to its original timestamp, Measure 5 Beat 1. And there we go. And now it's relocated back to where it was. So if you're ever working quickly and you accidentally delete some things or delete a clip, and you want to get it back to where, it's orig where it originally was, Spot is a great way to do that. Shuffle Mode just simply puts clips back to back in the timeline. So I'll drag spot me in any place and it just puts it right to the back end of the last clip. Let me drag this next one in, put that right there. Let's see, that one's called instrument. I'll just drag that right out there, put it right there. And it just puts the clips back to back. So an easy way to just get clips lined up back to back in the track. So grid, relative grid, slip, spot, shuffle. Just a quick review of the edit modes Grid and slip will be the two that you'll use the most in this class.